Uh, most of my background in information technology is, is really in data systems. You know, those enterprise systems that support organizational critical activities. In our world, it would be things like client management, fundraising, and so on. I've done this for a long time. I've done it in nonprofits. I've done it in the public sector, and I've done it in the private sector. Just a, a quick aside, during a lot of my career, I've also been involved with developing systems. Uh, we're talking about custom systems that may have cost as little as a few hundred dollars to as much as a, a few million dollars. And my experience in that suggests that trying to develop systems from scratch, doing software development, really requires deep pockets. It costs a lot, it's very high risk, and it takes too long to deliver a result. I think that 99% of the time, especially in our industry, we're better off buying and not building. Uh, I see nonprofits really littered with unworkable, custom, home-built systems put together by a smart person who convinced the organization this would be a better and cheaper way to go. But I think that's seldom the case. When I purchase systems, and I've had to do this a lot of time, my number one purchase criterion is the quality of the data model. What I mean by this is how well the product's data design models how the data actually behaves in the real world. For example, in our organization's client data work, we're typically interested in managing a number of, of fairly complex relationships. For example, we want to track families versus individuals. We want to count duplicated versus unduplicated clients or duplicated versus unduplicated families. And we want to understand program outcomes. The behavior of the underlying data around this is, is really complex. For example, family structures are complex and they're fluid. They change over their time. For example, children with divorced parents may live in two different homes. Their relationship to those households or those parents may change over time. The parents' relationships to the child may change over time or may be looked at differently in different kinds of programs. And all of that needs to be modeled by the data. Persons may participate in multiple programs in many of our agencies, sometimes simultaneously, sometimes consecutively. In many cases, they may come into a program, exit the program, and come back a second time a month later or five years later. And in all cases, we need to understand that. If you think about program outcomes, it's hard to think about a natural grammar or syntax for capturing that information, but we do need a structure if we're going to record that information in ways that make it possible to store it and retrieve it in the future in ways we probably can't predict today. In my experience, systems that are successful at modeling that real-world complexity of the data have a much longer shelf life. That is, they just last longer than systems that fail to do this or make too many compromises with the data model. When I'm evaluating systems, I spend a lot of my time peeking under the hood and trying to understand the data model. It's the most important thing I need to do to make a good purchase decision. This is really a key issue, too, as you think about system price. If you work out the cost per year, a $5,000 system that lasts for three years costs more than twice as much as a $10,000 system that lasts for seven years. And this is where a lot of the homemade systems I see built in nonprofits break down. They just weren't designed to accommodate the natural complexity of the data they used. And trying to design that in after the fact is almost always impossible. My experience, I'll pay a premium price for a system with a high quality data model every time. In my experience, that investment has always paid off.